as you would a fireman locks in. Except your head's not going all the way through. It's gonna pin. You can see, look at his shirt, his sweat stain from my head. It's gonna be real tight. I'm gonna push in, he's gonna step. Be like that. And his head's gonna be and looking, really selling out this way. It's gonna be what's, what makes this move work. <clears throat> Sets up my single, sets up my double, and my snap. I'll just attack and hit the hip. Try and hit him with my hip. As soon as I get hit. And uh, you can play in there, snap, come back, maybe let go with your legs. You can step out too, you don't have to be broke. <laughs> no, you're here. Step out. Drive them out of bounds. In there, any questions? In there, Let's see what I want. If he steps out of that, Steve, then, then do you go back to like step another foot and pull him forward? Oh, for the you, when you I yeah. hook that leg, he steps out. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scare him with this hand. I'm gonna pull his upper body up. And his reaction is to do what? I'm gonna let him go. When you hit this stuff, it's gonna feel like, wow, that was easy. You know, it's, it surprises you sometimes because you're like, he's almost doing the move for you, you know? You're just letting him go whichever way he wants to go. If he doesn't react, just take him back. And if he reacts, let him, let him, let him, let him pick which way he wants to go with it, you know? This is what sets it up. This and then coming back down with the shoulder. Like I said, it's always the most important hand. How do you die? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. He's, he's, uh, his body's moving a lot. Mine's moving like centimeters. That's good, that, that's what you want. I can move him. Back and forward. And uh, it's because it's, it's like we're the same body here. It's like we're one person. Hip to hip. Now, when we were like this, it's like we're like a three legged person, you know? And I just got to figure out which way I'm going to go with it. That's kind of my, my two on one series. Any more questions for any of those? What do you do when you start to come on? You know, when you're resting? From a two on one? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of stuff you can do. It just depends, you know, what kind of, where you want to be. He pulls my wrist here, I, I'd probably come here. You know, and from here, it's the same thing, you know. Especially hip to hip. If you can wrestle in there, it gives you a lot of options. Now, if he you grabs your wrist on the shot, same thing. You don't want to separate, you know. So you're here. Right here, I'd probably look in the middle of them and come up and throw them with the leg. You know, but if you grab your wrist just off a two-on-one, I usually come here. You know, if, if you're an overhook guy, you like wrestling out of an overhook, you know, you're a thrower, bait him to grab your wrist. Kind of lock up a loose wrist. He's going to pull your hand off. Where's he going with it? Now you're in an over. You know what I mean? Bait a guy like that. You know, trips. But uh, my, my immediate reaction, I, but I keep my hands so close together that if he grabs my wrist, I'm coming here usually and lower. But there, there's, uh, it's all just kind of preference. Guys, do this. You guys seen this before? Greco guys, yeah. I like this the best. Anything else? 
else in there? Instead of grabbing your wrist, a lot of guys they'll square up and they'll try to post on the head. Yeah. And what do you have other than? That's this hand. Okay. Let him, let him come both. That's great for me. Keep this tight. He's posting on my head here. That's great. Okay. I'm right in here. Uh, if he posts on my head and squares, this hand's gonna have gonna. You see, guys, do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot, but all that's off this hand. If you have this hand tight, if you don't have this hand tight, I, I would suggest just dumping that down hole and, and working for something else. Okay. You know what I mean? But once you solidify that Russian, that two on one, let him post my hand. I want that. He just put himself even further underneath me. Sure. Because it's my neck and my shoulder that's going to hit all my holes. If I want to go back underneath him because he's squaring, I can, as long as this stays tight. My neck's ready to okay. penetrate, but, but I don't have to. I, I, could bait, I could bait him. Single leg, trip, snap. I could go in between his hips. He's posted on my head. You yeah, see how I just kind of, it's not, I see you guys do this move a lot, and they go like this. Not like that. You don't need to be that dramatic. All I need to do is lift this hip. My ass, I just lift this hip, and then everything's gonna collapse down. So it's almost like an ankle thing. The way, the way I teach it, go like this here, my hip's coming up, and then this is coming down. But it, it, as far as posting on the head, that just opens this whole body up from the other side. You know, as long as this is good. Most guys are going to try and get out of it off the tie-up. You know, they're going to pull wrist, come under hook. Uh, they're going to float it and try and come the other side. So uh, once you solidify that tie, the guy's in trouble. And he's going to put himself in trouble by how he reacts to getting out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just kind of hip pressure here. Anything else there? They <clears throat> come across now, they pull on your elbow, trying to square off. Same thing. It gets to my elbow, up in that arm, and I'm going to I'm gonna I mean, that's tight. He, he's he's going to let go of the elbow as soon as he feels that. As soon as he feels this, he's, he's probably going to let go. Then I'm after the research. You know. From here, he's gonna try and pull my elbow and, and underhook. Same thing. If you're an old guy, you got you baited him into your situation. You know. Impressive. Next, he's gonna post off. Same thing. Your throat. I would advise to kind of move it. You know, you know, you're not necessarily going to score, but he is underneath you. It's kind of hard to get underneath that. But I mean, really, he's not attacking you there. That's kind of a stall. You know what I mean? And where's he going to go from there? He's not going to go into me. He's going to be going back. So I'm kind of crowd him with my hips. See, the difference between here, we're even, and here, just that inch of my hips coming in. I'm kind of attacking him. You know, he's got to react to me. And, uh, you know, that, that, that's, that's, that, that's going to turn out to be a stall eventually. You know, because there's no attack there. It's like this. He has a rush. If I can't walk him right away, and then you're neutral. But if I'm cinched in there, If I can get it out right away, that's probably what guys to try. You know, just be ready to react and make him rest. But again, he's he's hand fighting off of what I did to him. So if he's reacting to what I'm doing to him, I'll, it's it's more time that I don't have to worry about what, what's what's his times. You know, if he even if he does yank his arm out right away, come you know, other side, if he yanks it out right away. Club, just keep him on. 
I, my hand fighting advice is to keep him on the defense with my tie-ups. You know, that's more time that he doesn't have time to attack me. And, and, and if a guy hits a dramatic move like that, I know, I know, all right, you know, this guy don't like being in a two-on-one. So where am I going back to? You know, I'm going back to my two-on-one. And if I score on him, that's going to even frustrate him more from a two-on-one. 